Jung, however, introduced a dark note into this creative enterprise of integrating earlier traditions when he wrote The Problems, which the integration of the unconscious sets modern doctors and psychologists can only be solved along the lines traced out by history. The upshot will be a new assimilation of the traditional myth. This, however, presupposes the continuity of historical development. Naturally, the present, the present, naturally, the present tendency to destroy all tradition or render it unconscious could interrupt the normal process of development for several hundred years and substitute an interlude of barbarism. Edinger has said that Jung's remark is really a prediction, and one cannot help but recall that the transition from classical Greco-Roman culture to mature Christian institutions did in fact require much blood and confusion, even centuries of what historians call the Dark Ages. It follows that we can expect something similar, unless we not feel what that might mean we have this comment from an interview with the author, this is with Edinger. It seems absolutely inevitable that immense turmoil, convulsive movements, and eruptions of chaos in vast proportions are in the making so far as the political historical aspect of mankind is concerned. That I think will dwarf the upheaval that took place at the beginning of the Christian era with the gradual disintegration of the Roman Empire. That was small potatoes by comparison to what will happen this time." End quote. Yet Edinger believed that this terrible transition in culture, what the poet Yeats called the rough beast, its hour come round at last, will be bearable if we understand the meaning of what is going on. It is really to this end that the author produced the following chapters. No biblical book, with the exception of the Old Testament book of Daniel, provides a more sustained treatment of the theme of cultural transition than does the New Testament book of Revelation. Understanding it in modern terms, assimilating it as a psychological document, will help us to grasp the unconscious currents of the present Guide our, guide our anticipation of the future and provide the meaning we need to endure the terror of change. Edinger goes further. He states the hypothesis. <coughs> he states the hypothesis that if enough people understand what is going on, if enough people internalize the meaning of the apocalypse in their own life process, then according to the symbolism of the saving remnant in the book of Revelation itself, the worst of external catastrophe can be softened. That hypothesis places the reader of this book in a crucial position. Okay. All right, then I think I read the other part. But, I mean, it's... So the guy's been dead for... 20 years and nobody's paid any attention. So we've been talking about the preface to this book, The Archetype of the Apocalypse. I urge you to pick it up and read it. Okay, then. And Edinger knew something and he, and he, he gave a warning. Okay, and he died in 1998, so you have to appreciate. By the time of the Archetype of the Apocalypse lectures, Edward Edinger had already taken on this responsibility with many important works. I should note, however, that the author's concern for apocalyptic issues is not new, since the second half of Jung's answer to Job deals with Revelation. Edinger had to comment upon it in his own work, Transformation of the God Image and Elucidation of Jung's Answer to Job. That's this book. Okay, so he'd already dealt with it in that. The author was really in the realm of apocalypse in his study of the new God image and also in Goethe's Faust and the seminal essay entitled The New Myth 
in creation of consciousness, which is this book, okay? So he was already talking about it and all these things. Tell me these 10 lectures on the specific topic of the archetype of apocalypse in early 1995, however, became shockingly apt. Within a month of their delivery, there occurred the nation's worst terrorist attack. The federal building in Oklahoma City was bombed by an American possessed by the archetypal idea that the 168 men, women, and children he killed and the hundreds he wounded were part of an evil empire. He killed them also in revenge for the deaths two years earlier of 80 persons of an apocalyptic cult killed in a fiery blaze in Waco, Texas. Deeply moved, Edinger wrote to his city's newspaper the following letter entitled The Psychology of Terrorism. Now, he wrote this to the LA Times. Here's the letter. Terrorism is a manifestation of the psyche. It is time we recognize the psyche as an autonomous factor in world affairs. The psychological root of terrorism is a fanatical resentment a quasi-psychotic hatred originating in the depths of the archetypal psyche and therefore carried by religious archetypal energies. A classic literary example is Melville's Moby Dick. Captain Ahab with his fanatical hatred of the white whale is a paradigm for the modern terrorist. Articulate terrorists generally express themselves in religious archetypal terminology. The enemy is seen as the principle of objective evil, the devil, and the terrorist perceives himself as the heroic agent of divine or objective justice, God. This is an archetypal inflation of demonic proportions which temporarily grants the individual almost superhuman energy and effectiveness. To deal with terrorism effectively, we must understand it. We need a new category to understand this new phenomenon. These individuals are not criminals and are not madmen, although they, are, although they have some qualities of both. Let's call them zealots. Zealots are possessed by transpersonal archetypal dynamisms deriving from the collective unconscious. Their goal is a collective, not a personal one. The criminal seeks his own personal gain, not so the zealot. In the name of a transpersonal collective value, a religion, an ethnic or national identity, a patriotic vision, etc., they sacrifice their personal life in the surface of their god. Although idiosyncratic and perverse, this is fundamentally a religious phenomenon that derives from the archetypal collective unconscious. Sadly, the much needed knowledge of this level of the psyche is not generally available. For those interested in seeking it, I recommend a serious study of the psychology of C.G. Jung. Guess what? They didn't publish it. Okay, so let me read on here. Um, they didn't publish it. Reading on. As a sign of the times, this letter was not published. Instead, the nation was deluged with mere descriptions of the horror, along with biographies of the suspects, with hardly a line of print or moment of television dedicated to understanding what had happened. The governor of Oklahoma would say at a memorial service, we can't understand why it happened. Billy Graham, Baptist chaplain to the nation, had already confessed on national television before a crowd of weeping survivors that he did not know why God allows things like this to happen. Nobody seems to know what is going on, yet Edinger's book bravely tells us. So, anyway. Wait, they're referencing Evans' book. They, they're talking about the apocalypse. Yeah, they're talking about this book, Archetype of the Apocalypse, 
which is the 10 lectures he gave immediately before. What I'm saying about that is that Edinger, even before 9-11, before all the things that have happened in the 21st century, and even before Oklahoma City, since this was coming. Okay, and and so, I mean, this is a, I, I read the beginning of this this week, what I just read you, and I go, oh my God. But the point is that it's coming, yeah, that it's coming out in, um, from artists, right? Yeah. Too, and, and so this means that these ideas are in the collective unconscious. Um, where is this? Well, we were ignoring the fact, and and that's the point here that that you know psychologists have been talking about this stuff for years, and you know the general public won't pay any attention, okay, or not the general public. The general public would pay attention if Wolf, if Wolf Blitzer would talk about it. Breaking news Blitzer. <laughs> Breaking news. Every 10 minutes, it's the same thing for hours. Breaking news. Breaking news. It's, it's breaking the first time. So yeah. I have a problem with that, so I used to love it. Yeah, well, I mean, but, but the point is that, that cable news is not talking about psycho psychology and what's happening. They have the loop, but they do. Yeah, they're not talking about um, the president and what the risks are to his psychology and how he's reacting to things. Oh my God, I went to the seminar. He, he was saying that the United States is very seriously now misaligned. The government is misaligned with the population. And um, no, it's not a big surprise. It's perfectly obvious that what West Virginia is concerned about is jobs. They don't want to go back in the friggin' coal mine. And the fact that the Trump is going to make the coal, coal mines open again? Uh, did he ask any of the coal mine operators about that? Yes, it's automated. See, they're not going to go back to pick and shovel anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's because now it, now they just rip the m mountains apart from the top right. down. <laughs> and they don't bother to go down in the hole anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all automated, as you say, so they, they don't need a thousand guys down in the hole two miles, right? He's going to bring back video cassette manufacturing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's... Um, there's another part of this that I should read, then. Okay, because uh, now we're talking about archetype of the apocalypse. And this is the editor's preface to it. So, uh, roughly half of the verses of the book of Revelation are commented upon here. In a larger perspective, however, Edinger was not breaking new ground for himself. He had long been convinced that Jung's psychological experience had given birth to a new worldview, an, en an entirely new worldview which has as its central principle and supreme value the human psyche with its unique phenomenon of consciousness. By this comment, the author was explaining why he had written an essay on the 19th century sage of Concord, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay, quote, If the new world view is to take its place as a new cultural dominant, a long process of reorientation and assimilation is required. Just as emergent Christianity required the devoted efforts of generations to assimilate the previous Greek learning, so modern psychology will gradually assimilate into its own forms and modes of understanding the products of human culture that have preceded it. This task I take to be the responsibility of the analyst and psychologically informed laity of the present and the future. That's us. <laughs> okay. Laity. Wow, what a girl. Laity. We're the laity. We're laymen vis-a-vis -vis the psychologists. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. We're, we're not therapists. 
guess I read something into that. I wasn't there. Okay. Well, there may be more there. I mean, there actually may there may there may be a double entendre. But I mean, what what he was expressing was um, a new dispensation of the mystery of God, right? And so he was saying that there was the law from the Jews, belief through the Christians, and now the psychological dispensation of the mystery of God. You know, I too am saying that that we're talking about God. We're not talking about any religion, though. Okay, this is this is why Jung's vision when he was eleven, right? <laughs> when God pooped on the <laughs> on the cathedral of Basel, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jung's vision pretty much told him, you know, religion isn't the answer. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Okay, so you have to hear the rest of this now, okay? This is, uh, this gets better. This is just the intro? This is the editor's preface to this book. We haven't even got to what Edinger said. Okay. So by the time of the archetype of the Acapo... By the time of the archetype of the Apocalypse lectures, Edward Edinger had already taken on his responsibility with many important work, had taken on this responsibility with many important works. To indicate his range of accomplishment, there is the full-length treatment of Moby Dick by Emerson's contemporary Herman Melville, a psychological analysis of the Greek myth in the eternal drama, essays on major themes in the Hebrew Bible, in the, in the Bible and the Psyche, and on the Christian themes in the Christian Archetype, a study of Goethe's Faust, and reflections on William Blake's illustrations for the book of Job. These are all acts of assimilation, as is this effort to understand psychologically the book of Revelation. And Keep in mind that what he came up with was that the whole Old Testament is basically the individuation of the Jewish nation. That's what he's saying. So it's the individuation of the whole Jewish nation, and it was only at the point of Job that the individual actually appears. Up until then, it was a tribe. Right, it was participation mystique. Okay. So Jung, however, introduced a dark note into this creative enterprise of integrating earlier traditions when he wrote, quote, The problems which the integration of the unconscious sets modern doctors and psychologists can only be solved along the lines traced out by history, and the upshot will be a new assimilation of the traditional myth. This, however, presupposes the continuity of historical development. Naturally, the present tendency to destroy all tradition or render it unconscious could interrupt the normal process of development for several hundred years and substitute an interlude of barbarism. Edinger had said that Jung's remark is really a prediction. Wait a minute. Let's start at the beginning. Jung, however, introduced a dark note into this creative enterprise of integrating earlier traditions when he wrote the problems which the integration of the unconscious sets modern doctors and psychologists can only be solved along the lines traced out by history. The upshot will be a new assimilation of the traditional myth. This, however, presupposes the continuity of historical development. Naturally, the present tendency to destroy all tradition or render it unconscious could interrupt the normal process of development for several hundred years and substitute an interlude of barbarism. Edinger has said that Jung's remark is really a prediction. It follows that we can expect something similar and less and lest we not feel that we, lest we not feel what that might mean, 
we have this comment from an interview with the author. This is with Edinger. It seems absolutely inevitable that immense turmoil, convulsive movements, and eruptions of chaos in vast proportions are in the making so far as the political historical aspect of mankind is concerned. That, I think, will dwarf the upheaval that took place at the beginning of the Christian era with the gradual disintegration of the Roman Empire. That was small potatoes by comparison to what will happen this time." End quote. Yet Edinger believed that this terrible transition in culture, what the poet Yeats called the rough beast, its hour come round at last, will be bearable if we understand the meaning of what is going on. It is really to this end that the author produced the following chapters. No biblical book, with the exception of the Old Testament book of Daniel, provides a more sustained treatment of the theme of cultural transition than does the New Testament book of Revelation. Understanding it in modern terms, assimilating it as a psychological document will help us to grasp the unconscious currents of the present, guide our, into, guide our anticipation of the future, and provide the meaning we need to endure the terror of change. He states the hypothesis that if enough people understand what is going on, if enough people internalize the meaning of apocalypse in their own life process, then, according to the symbolism of the saving remnant in the book of Revelation itself, the worst of external catastrophe can be softened. That hypothesis places the reader of this book in a crucial position. But, I mean, it's... So the guy's been dead for 20 years and nobody's paid any attention. So we've been talking about the preface to this book, The Archetype of the Apocalypse. I urge you to pick it up and read it.